Hello. If you are watching this, then congratulations. <laughs> Alright, this is taxes. Um, I, most people don't even realize how much tax we pay, or what taxes we pay. The American people are so overburdened with taxes that it's not even funny. I mean, let's be honest. When, in some cases, up to and sometimes over 80% of what you pay for at, over at the store is tax, there's a problem. Now, as for a reason for all these taxes, the reason can mainly be found in uh, my second video on the uh, destruction of a, of a republic. But that's not going to be what I'm going to discuss at this moment. I'm going to discuss is why is it important that the vast majority of our taxes are hidden from us most of the taxes you pay are wormed into the products that 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 you buy um, a few years ago for example I'm sure most of us uh, well I know I did no, had noticed the uh, rising cost of a, of a two liter of Fago going from 89 cents to a dollar fifty a se seemingly overnight most people didn't know why they just saw the the printed tag on the on the bottle and just said okay the reason being was literally about a week or so earlier Congress with the help of President Obama had passed what they were what they were referring to as a sin tax. It was a tax on the sugar in the product itself. Now, why am I pointing this out? Why am I why am I being specific on this tax uh, at this moment? Well, simply put, the reason for the tax itself is a result of the high sugar content in the in the product the high sugar content is not sucrose or table or table sugar or the type of sugar that we go and pour over some oatmeal or uh, over our cornflakes no this is a man-made sugar an artificial sugar we know this as high fructose corn syrup now why do we use this? Well, because it's cheaper than normal sugar. And then the question is, well, why is it cheaper? Well, it's cheaper only because the farm industry, specifically corn, for the production of high fructose corn syrup is subsidized with your tax dollars. They are using your taxes to make this product cheaper than sugar. And they're doing it so they can ensure uh, voter support in these farming communities. Similar to the uh, oil industry, which as I'm sure as we all know, do not need the uh, government subsidies. Yet, I really don't hear the outcry for all of the subsidies going to uh, farm country. Anyways, I digress. They are using your tax dollars to subsidize farmers to make their product cheaper. Then they sell it to you in the product because, it once again, it is cheaper. Then they are taxing you because this is in the product itself. Does anybody see the insanity in this? Does anybody see the deception and the double spending and the circular tax system? They are using your money to curry political favor only so that later on they can tax you more. They can rob you 
of more of your labor. They can steal your wealth, and they do it with your blessing. They do it with your blessing because, well, we have to pass a farm bill because we don't want anybody to go hungry. Trust me, nobody's going to go hungry. A good chunk of the farm subsidies actually goes to preventing farmers from farming. See, the government actually pays farmers to not grow anything. Well, when and at the time when I bring that up, all I hear is, well, you don't want the soil to get used up. Okay, rotate your crop. You see, just having the dirt sit there does not enrich it. Growing a different crop, harvesting as to what you can out of it, and letting, and letting all of the waste go and decompose, that will enrich the soil. Going and spreading manure uh, on the soil will help enrich it. Not just from all of the nutrients from, from the, uh, well, poop itself, but also from all of the bacteria that, that go and live on it. They eat it, then they poop, then they die, and it all decomposes and goes into the soil, which infuses the soil with magnesium, phosphorus, nitrogen, carbon, sulfur. I mean, the list goes on. This is this is one of the things they are not telling you. Uh, another thing that they are not telling you is, and I'm not kidding, look this up. You are paying a service fee on your phone. Now, I know you're all going to say, well, yes, you can see it. No, you can't. There are over seven taxes on on your phone that don't show up on your bill. They are worked into the base price of your phone bill. Now in this video I have just listed telephone tax because it would just take way too long to go and break down into all these separate categories. Also, I'd like to go and point out the cons, uh, the, one of the issues on the capital gains tax. See one of the one of the ways that they get you on a take on a capital gains tax, which is a double tax, is let's say you went and bought bought a bunch of gold at uh, six hundred dollars an ounce. What you were doing at the time was insuring the value of your money, insuring the value of your labor. Now we fast forward a few years later. Now gold is at thirteen hundred. That one should tell you uh, or give you an indicator of the value of the dollar or lack thereof. But now, because you took your money that has already been taxed multiple times, you decided to go and conserve the your the value that that and wealth that that you had acquired and generated now as a result of ensuring your wealth because everybody else's wealth dropped because everything was still in well toilet paper currency because they did not ensure their wealth you now have to be taxed an additional 15% Well, on the uh, increase in value on the gold. I don't know about you, but that seems like a shit deal to me. I mean, do you... Have, could you look at your, at your children? Could you look at your brothers? Could you look at your sister? Could you look at your mom or your dad? And, and justify those same actions? Could you... Could you justify 
well, let's use kids for an exa for a uh, example. The you have a bag of gummy bears. You have five kids. You give each kid uh, seven gummy bears. Most of them eat them, except one. He or she decides to go and put them in a plastic bag, and go put it under under uh, their under his or her pillow. Then. As a result of doing that, he still has his gummy bears. Later on, the uh, later on, the that night, he brings them out of his room. Now he's eating gummy bears, and the other and the other kids don't have any. Would it then be right to take to take those pieces of candy away from him? to give to the others simply because they ate theirs first. I know it's a very crude and uh in a and inaccurate as to the actual rates uh as far as the taxes go. But except the basic premise is the same. They saved. They invested. He retained his wealth by insuring it. How is purchasing gold any different? Now, I don't know how else to say it. In this video you're going to see 96 or 97 different taxes. I had originally embarked and made an audio uh, to go along with it, but to be honest, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. There were just too damn many. And now, you're going to love it. Now, the uh, UN is proposing, once again, another treaty, uh, to impose an additional tax on the wealthier nations, which, as we know, is going to get passed directly to us. And this also is going to affect our our wonderful neighbors up in Canada, and I do mean that. I seriously, with without Canada, we would not have Karen Strom or Stefan Molyneux. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Thank you. You you gave the world a gift. Now. Taxes are also there to control us. I mean, come on. Who here actually understands that currently, at this moment, and I did not add this in on the video, and look it up right now. In Maryland, right now, you are taxed on the rain. Yes, you are now taxed on the rain that falls on your property. One, I'd like to try and figure out what type of metric the uh, government is using but hey we're not right at this point we are talking about the political elite the political class they don't have to answer to us serfs this shit needs to change <laughs>